Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster, and welcome back to Let's Play Breath of Fire 3. Well, last time we successfully managed to uh, save the villagers from the evil new monster that was inhabiting the, uh, the, uh, the Mount Gloss there. So, I, what? There's still random battles outside even my house now? What the crap is this? Who did? But this sounds like kind of like, who that? You know? No, oh, come on, Ripper. I wonder if these birds are named Jack. There's got to be a joke in there somewhere. Some sort of Jack the Ripper joke. I don't know. Oh, I'll gain a level pretty soon, so that's nice. Okay, well, let's get out of here. Do these guys still like say anything? Oh, yeah, I know about camps. Eh, uh, no thanks. Actually, hold on. The master list. I don't think I, 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 I don't think we learned about that yet. Healing we know about skill notes. The master list. Uh huh. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I see. Gotcha. And we'll learn more about that. All that stuff later. Uh, skill notes. Yeah, let's learn about those. Uh-huh. Oh, I see. Ah, that's where that skill link was later. So. Okay, very good. Very good. Okay, so we want to get out of here. We want to make our way back to the village. Here's that goo. We don't need to worry about facing him. Yes, I still don't know where these enemies came from. I didn't have to face off against them earlier. Okay. Well, anyways, you've seen me make my way through these cedar woods here, so I'll take care of this off-screen, and I'll meet you uh, back once I'm done with this area. All right, no problems there. I made it out of there just fine. Um, I did manage to uh, gain another level for Tipo and Ryu there, so that's pretty good. Okay, so let's head back to uh, McNeil and see what's waiting for us here. Uh-oh. Hmm, I don't like this music. Oh, that's great. <laughs> yeah, now we can't steal from them if they're... Huh? Who's that guy? Uh-oh. Uh... I didn't do it, I swear. It was... It, it was Bunyan. Yeah, he did it. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, he held us hostage. He's the one you want. Oh boy. Uh. 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 Is lynching still a thing? That looks like this could be what's going down. What? Oh. Sure is. Yeah, because we've never lied or cheated any time in our life. Oh, Bunyan was coming through us. Oh, whew. Yeah, that's all in a day's work. No big deal. Uh, thank you. No problem. Well, you know. Yeah, you better be grateful was whooping that ass. Then what? He wouldn't have... It was, <laughs> it was one of those, like... I wonder if it was, if it was a woman who, like... If she's, like, one of those women that hit you in the head with a shovel or something like that, you know? You get off my lawn! You know. <laughs> uh, oh, it looks like they're gonna give us food. <coughs> cool! And now they're just in complete bewilderment. Yeah! Yeah, I mean, thieves can be heroes. Look at Locke from Final Fantasy VI. Alright, and now we're important. Yep, no problem. Well, sure. Ah, oh, Loki. Nope! Oh, yeah, I guess we are. 
Yeah, sure, no problem. Uh, yeah. That's why what? Yes. Oh, uh, uh, sure. Uh, sure, what's up? Uh-huh, I've seen that. Uh, okay. Sure. It looks like we, now we have our next objective. But, uh, let's walk around first. Let's see what we can find. Okay. So let's, uh, see what we can do here in this area. Uh, now that people seem to like us again. What we really want to do, though, is we want to go to the item shop. It's a special, uh, task that we can now do. All right. Ooh, a special rate, eh? Now with a special rate, we can purchase a wooden rod. <laughs> rod. Uh, ammonia. Oh, we're good there. Okay, now we want to purchase a... Oh, stuff. Yeah, let's just get some some fishing bait here. I'm not, I'm not even worried about... Uh, you know, spending my money. It's quite all right. Okay. And now that we have a fishing rod, we want to go do a little bit of fishing. Now, uh, if you may recall in the other Breath of Fire games, fishing was very important uh, to get some of the best items in the game, especially in the original Breath of Fire. Now, we're not going to be, uh, there's no, like, Rod 5 or anything like that. Um, I don't even know what that is. Oh, well, that's nice. Very, 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 very nice. Okay, if you go down here, uh, we can go to a fishing spot. So, all right, let's get ready to check this place out. Give me just a second. Okay, let's do some fishing. I always hated fishing in real life, but in this game, it's good. Okay, so, but first we need to know exactly how to do this. So, uh, no, I want to keep going. Okay, so, first thing we want to do is equip our wooden rod. All right, and then we have some little bait here, but let's uh, show you how exactly how to do this. Okay, so the X button there, we can uh, basically launch it. And we push the X button to build up the cast. Uh, basically, it's most like most fishing games. You can launch it. Um, you know, the further you go, the longer you or the longer you hold it down, the further you go. And let's see here. Um, so the X button, we can re reel in there. Some lures uh, raise or sink. So we just gotta watch that there. That doesn't make too big a deal right now. But use your technique to attract the fish. All right, so we can get a little rhythm going here. And I'll show you that. Okay, now move the rod cursor uh, to track the fish cursor. And then use the directional button to move the cursor. So I think I think you want to kind of move it with the with the cursor there. And we'll kind of... I'll show you how this works here. Okay, so now we know what to do. So let's... Nope. Okay, so let's get our lure here. So this is this heavy uh, caro here. Uh, we got that earlier in the game. But uh, let's go with a sinker. And let's get ready to go. So we push the uh, X button to cast. And I don't want, I don't want to go too far. I just want to try and... Anyway, you know, hold on. Let's try that one again. Maybe we'll go a little further. There we go. Okay, let's see if we can get a fish here. Come on. Come on. I got to try it again. Nope, oh, that's going to be too far. By the way, it said that the lure uh, breaks within 60, uh, after 60 meters. So. Okay, there we go. Okay, yeah, so, so. so basically what I'm doing is I'm... Oh, jumping in the air, so. so. Basically what I'm doing is, as the fish moves, like I, okay, so I'm pushing the right button now as the fish moves, and then you reel them in. Ha-ha! Ooh, piranha! Nice. Not what we're looking for, but that'll do. Uh, now, do I, now, do I lose my bait? Ah, see, I keep my bait, so that's pretty cool. Um, so, very good. All right, so let's see what else we can find here. Dang okay, we don't go too far. I just want to try and get some fish here. Okay, so again, just push... Oh. So again, I'm just... Yeah, again, I'm just I'm, I'm pushing the right button here to. Okay, oh man, I got a big one on this one. No, no, no. 
Let me reel in, you bastards. Jump it. Oh, there we go. Now, I might not be able to get this one. All right, come on. Come on. Ooh, this is gonna be a this is gonna be a tough one, BCS Universe. There we go. Yeah, once he gets to the left, he's pretty you can, he's pretty tired there. So I think the left button kind of determines his tiredness too. Aha! Got one. Oh, another piranha. Hey, all right. Okay, so I'm gonna do some. Actually, uh, let's see. Okay, so that's kind of how fishing works. So let's go ahead and exit there. Now I believe there's one other fishing spot that we can go to. Let me uh, make sure that I, that's right on my map there. So let's go down this way, and I believe there's another fishing spot. Oh, that's the Yaw Yaw Road. Um, I thought there was another. Aha! Okay, I think this is the fishing spot that I want. Maybe is there, can I get, can I access one over there? No. Okay. Let's see if this is the one that I want. Because I'm looking for a specific kind of fish. Good lady. Ooh, looks like there's some jellyfish there. Um. Okay. Let's give this a go. Let's see what we can find. Wee. Big fish out there. Aha! There we go. Right, come on. Nope, nope, nope. Ooh, that looks like, ooh, that looks like a big fish. Nope, get back. No, oh, dang it. Okay, so that's what happens if... Uh, so if the lure... If, if the fish misses... Um, so that's kind of what happens there if, if, if you mess up. And um, then the fish gets away there. So, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back between the two fishing spots and I'm going to catch the fish that I want. So I'll take care of that off screen and then I'll be back. So now that you've seen how to do it, so I'll be right back. Ooh, I need to plug in my laptop too. There we go. Haha! -ha! And there we got a, one of the fish I'm looking for, the rainbow trout. Ooh, I became a novice there. Yeah, so that's, the, that's definitely one that I want to get there. And uh, what I, do, I used to get it was the heavy caro bait. And that's a good bait. Um, it's top level. I found that uh, earlier on. I think it was the last couple of, two episodes ago I found that while going through the forest there. And it's really good for getting all the fish that I want to get at this point. So what you want to do, and what, I, what I've done to get this is, actually, let me show you what I, where, I, where I got this one. I got this one at uh, the Rainbow Trout. I got at this fish to the west here of... Uh, of McNeil there right down here and so what I do is I basically just cast a bunch to just start clearing out everything in the area and then eventually you'll get a rainbow trout so if you just persistent with that then you'll get everything that you need so now what I want to do is head over to this fishing spot over here and there's a couple other fish that I want to get by the way I, I wanted to get at least two rainbow trout if you get more than that then that's awesome so let's see if I can go here now and get the other type of fish that I want One. Oh. Come on. Oh, this is going to be tricky. He's, only, he's almost there. He's almost there. He's almost there. Aha! You! Yeah. Yeah. Trout. Hey, and now I'm Rodzilla. See, I'm a Rodman now. Ha <laughs> ha! I love it. So, yeah. So, basically, what I want to do for this now is I want to try and catch a couple of trout here. Let me show you where I am. Uh, this one here. So, as you can see, I made it to this uh, place right out here. So, I'm back here and I got that. Okay. Now what I want to do is there's one more per there's one more thing that I want to do. By the way, I want to try and get a couple of trout there. So let me go get a couple of trout now, and then I will do what I want to do next. There we go, and I've got another trout now. I've gotten up to 735 points. By the way, your points, uh, the way that you get points in this is for every different type of fish that you catch, whatever the largest amount of points that you get is your total for points there. So I've managed to catch four different fish. I caught a jellyfish in the first one. Actually, five fish, a piranha, a... Actually, I'm sorry, just four. A, a jellyfish in the first one, a piranha, a rainbow trout, and now I've got this trout. And there's one more thing that I want to catch. So, let's uh, pull up my menu here. And now what I want to do is I want to equip the coin. Manilo's favorite. Okay, well, let's see if we can find this Manilo thing. Now, you can see on the right-hand side of the screen there, uh, there's a little big thing there. So let's see if we can catch that thing. Okay, let's do it. Now, the good thing about the coin is the only person that will be attracted to it is Manilo there. Basically, you want to reel him in there. And pretty much, if you just hold down the reel button, you'll be able to get him in, no problem. I don't think the line can break, and I don't think you can lose your coin with Manilo. 
Got him. Wait, whoa. Mm. That's a big looking dude there. It kind of looks like Gobi. Ooh, big guy there. Ray. Yeah. So basically, you'll always get... Uh, Minnow is pretty much always the same, and you get 400 points. And now I'm a Rodman plus. I'm just like Dennis Rodman, just like Rodzilla. I love it. And now we get to the Manila Trading Shop. And Manila is only available at certain um, era fishing spots throughout the world in the game. And he sells different items at uh, different places. So let's see if we can get something from here. Yes. Because I've gotten three rainbow trout and two regular trout, I can now purchase a silver knife. And yes, we definitely want to get one of those. And uh, if you want, you can trade in to get some bait here. I don't really care about that. Skill Ink, if you want one of those, uh, you can get those there. And then there's lots of different things that we can get here. Uh, basically, you can lower and raise the chance of meeting enemies if you want to do some level grinding, but that's not going to be for way later in the game. Okay, and that's everything that we want to do here. And now we are completely... Oops. Now we are completely done with our fishing. Very good. Okay. So now what I want to do is... Let's start by uh, going to our menu screen. And let's try putting this uh, new equipment to use there. So let's get Tipo going here. And we want to, uh, oops, uh, we want to, let's see, yeah, Ryu there. Definitely want to give him the silver knife there. Uh, so yeah, big increase in his attack power, and he's got the holy ability there, so that's good. Okay, uh, very good. Can I, can I optimize him? Oh, let's see, I don't, don't know if I can. Yeah, optimize equipment, there you go. So very good. Okay, excellent. Okay, so what I want to do now is I want to go over to, back to McNeil. There we go. And we want to try and get some, we want to upgrade our equipment, because now it's time for us to do that. And purchase just some various items as we go. So let's head in here. Uh, nothing? Okay, so let's see what we can get here. Anything of interest? Uh, yeah, we can purchase a couple of bronze swords. Sure. Oops, dang it. Uh, leather armor, no. Bracers. Is there anything else? Actually, cloth shield. That might be better. Um, that lowers their agility a little bit, but that's okay. Uh, wait, I've already got one equipped, so yeah, let's equip those. Yes. And we'll equip them with the shield there. And we'll equip them with the shield there. Very good. And now we want to get some, let's see. Brass Helms, Defense 3, but wait. Yeah, we'll get some Brass Helms, that's fine. That's good. Well, let's see. What's the defense increase? Uh, plus 2 defense, plus one, plus 1, wait. Um, yeah, we'll get 3 of these, that's fine. Okay. Yes, let's go ahead and get those equipped. Get that equipped. And that equipped. Okay, very good. And what did I, what did I purchase earlier that I forgot to equip? Might have been these bronze swords. Okay, so let's go ahead and get those equipped. I forgot to do that. Optimize for Tipo. I see. Yeah. There we go. All right. And now our characters are in good shape. Basically, what I want, what you want to do at this point is you want to try and spend all of your money. Um, there's a very uh, good reason for that. So let's see what else we can purchase over here. What? Ooh, special rank. Excellent. So what can we buy over here that uh, that I'm going to need here? Um, revives a party member. That could be useful. Get those. Flame attack. No, I don't care. Healing herb. i got plenty of those, so I'm good. Yeah, let's get one of those. Cures blindness. Sure, i get a couple of those. Antidote. Uh, let's see. Croc tier. Chance of restoring status. No. Good there. Yeah, I'll get a couple more antidotes. Sure. Okay. Very good. All right. Now that I've spent all my money, let's go ahead and get out of here. Oh, wait, I forgot. This is not how I got here. I always mess this up. Okay. So let's go ahead and leave town. And then we'll head up this way. And we'll do one more thing today, and then we'll call it a day. All right, so let's head up this way. And if we head over here, I believe we're going to go up here. Is that right? Yes. The giant Yagdrill tree has been cut down. Oh, that's not good at all. Um, I believe this is where we want to go. Let's check it out. Hmm. Hmm. 
What's this guy doing here? Looks like a, a wizard of some sort with a book that's got an evil face on it. Kind of weird. And this is the great wizard Migus. Oh, what kind of journey? Dang it. Okay. Oh, what's that offer? Change for all my money? Oh. And now is our opportunity to get our first master of the game. Oh, that's pretty cool. Sure. And for all my money, I only got like six gold left, so might as well. Sure. Absolutely. Ooh, excellent. Oh, well, I don't like that at all. Now, so who do we want to be the apprentice? Okay, let's see. Um, I believe I'm going to want to have... Uh, let me double check my notes to make sure I know exactly who I want to do this. Okay, so uh, looking at this here, we're gonna kind, we're gonna try and make Ray, Ray and Tipo kind of my powerhouses there, and Ryu to be the magic guy. So yes, all right, very good. Um, let's see. You know what? Tipo's already got some of the spells that we're gonna need, so I'm not worried about that. And Ray, I want to kind of keep as a power guy, so we're good. Okay, and now we've gotten stronger. All right, and if we're ready. We'll learn some of the spells. And now we've got uh, Migus on our team. He's going to help us out. But what about that Loki dude? And what exactly does he want us to do? You'll have to wait till next time to find out. Till then, this is BCS Buster signing off. Don't forget to like me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter at BCS Buster LP. <laughs> Reusing an apple. That's awesome. Check out my blog. Check out my donations page. And as always, take care, y'all.